He's my joy, my peace. When I don't know nothing, He's my information, my wisdom. When this song here that the choir is about to bless y'all with is called God He is, that's God is everything. The most important He's my all in all.
Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. You have it, say amen. That means you have it. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. If I can borrow a thought, I want to talk about chose by God. Pastors just don't pop up from nowhere. God just don't give you no anything. Does let them instantly. That's why they're those that wait on them yeah. Yeah. renew their strength. You got to learn how to wait on the Lord. I just want to aim about it real fast. God chose it. God placed it. God hired it. And you can't find it. He's not working for you. He's working for the Lord. Even if you run him away from him, God doubt it. Someone will pick you up. Because he's working for the Lord. He chose by God. But many are called, but a few are chosen. Church, you read, you know how to chose. Being chose, go right. You remember when you read in the book of 1 Samuel when God told Samuel to go to Jeff's house? Because he has a king coming out of Jeff's land. The reason why, because Israel chose them the king, and God didn't want to give them that king, but yet he let them have Saul. Samuel got mad because Saul didn't do what God called him to do. You all have to get in an attitude of death when you say something. Say, Sammy, why are you acting all crazy? Saul ain't doing nothing after I got somebody for the people. You just do what I tell you to do. You'll be all right. What he says, go to Jess. And a little fella there. That's who's going to be King David. I just thought I'd just show you how the calling worked. Uh, uh, they called all the Jesus kids then. They were in the call of but for the one chosen. It was called before y'all got y'all past. But God see fit that he passed the child at home to him be the pastor of my kid. With your choice, on somebody. With your choosing of it. And I'm here to tell you today that my brothers and my sisters that are looking at the sketch this morning, I see God has given my people a path out of his own heart. Which shall feed you. If you're going to his pastoral leadership, will feed you with understanding. And some knowledge. That's very important that you have those two facts. You ever talk to anyone that didn't have no knowledge of what they're talking about? <laughs> you, you, you ever run across somebody that don't have no understanding? Uh, you need these factors to do the will of the Lord. All right. The word of God said, my people perish for the lack Knowledge is very important. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
mind of a terrible thing you waste. Yeah. Yeah.
your pastor is working for the Lord. And he said, go into the vineyard and work and whatsoever you do. He said, he will pay. The problem with most other preachers, they want God to fail and, and you fail too. And they want more than what God gives. Yes, Lord. But when you do what God say do, you don't have to worry about your pain. I'm reminded he told the disciple, take the journey and take nothing for your journey. Because whatever you need has already been provided for you. Uh, if you get hungry, somebody gonna feed you. Uh, if you need a water, somebody gonna give you a drink. So whatever you need, take the journey. Not looking for Others to take care of. God shall supply. All of your needs that God has given his riches was in glory. As I come to a close, this is why my brothers and my sisters warn I not forsake the assembly of the household of God. As some do, because pastors have an account to care for your soul. When you're not there, he has to give an account of your soul. You may not think we think much of your soul, but when you are out playing golf and fishing, I got to tell God what you have. I got to give an account of your stewardship. So this is very important that you be in the house and don't be lost. In the house of the Lord, uh, you need to know that the pastor have a duty. God has called him to preach the word. God has called him and ordained him to teach the word. God has commissioned him to go ye therefore, teaching them to observe all things. Uh, and lo, I be with you to the end of the world. So I'm trying to tell you what well, I'm about to have a charge to keep up. And you have a God to glorify. And that's the victim for the sky. And doing so, he must preach this gospel up in season and out of season. What do they want to hear and what do they don't want to hear? He must be steadfast and unmovable up. Always abiding in the works of the Lord. Yeah, but the time uh, will come uh, when people just want to do a sound doctrine. Uh, they're just not going to want to hear uh, what the word of the Lord has to say. Uh, but you've got to stand uh, in the cloud to a dying world. Uh, Yeah.